you know, I'm just doing some fun little patterns, uh, flailing the valves back and forth. Well, kind of like this, you know. I'll show you one of them just for fun. Man, maybe I should put this in one of my, you know, uh, lick videos. My, uh, what do I call those? Tasty trumpet licks. That's right. Tasty trumpet licks, right? <clears throat> check those out if you haven't. I have five of them so far. Um, but yeah, check this out. Well, I'll set, let me set a different way so that you can actually see it. But let's just go right into the upper octave because that's where it works. <clears throat> um, like this. Uh, you don't need to do that note at the end. I was just having fun, but yeah. It's hard to do too. I kind of lost it at the end there. Yeah, something like that, right? <clears throat> so that's a little lick for you, a little trick. Yeah, you know what? If I can, I'm just going to edit this out and put it right into Tasty Trumpet Licks. This will be Tasty Trumpet Lick number six. How's that for resourcefulness and recycling? So, ah, oh, you know what? <clears throat> Along with that, let's do another lick. Why not? Because I have another good one for you. These two are kind of simple. They're, they're fast and fun, but they're simple, you know. So you can, you can really sort of, how shall I say, you can kind of show off with them, uh, you know, uh, even if you're, you're, you're not, uh, you know, Arturo Sandoval or anybody extremely good yet, but you can figure this out. I know you can do this, even if you're a, a junior spitter, a younger guy. <clears throat> and um, for you older guys, you'll be able to get this really quick. Um, so there's that one. Right, let me just do it one more time just because I want to. Yeah, something like that. So um, the next one <clears throat> is right there on that G as well. <clears throat> and it's just using a little half valve. Because you all know I love my half valve. I just love my half valve. And I would go like this. Uh, we can do it down the octave first. Right? It's sassy. It's real sassy. Right? So I really like to push the valve down just far enough, just to that right place where it, it, it seems like a little bit of air is coming through, but not a lot. There's a certain tone you can get with it, right? Like this. Right there, that's it right there. hear that? Isn't that cool? So yeah, if you haven't, by the way, you should experiment with, <clears throat> you know, pushing that middle valve down, or even if you do other fingerings, you know, if you want to go down to the F, um, just kind of experiment with half valving and seeing the different sounds that you can make because you can really do some weird stuff and it's kind of fun <clears throat> um there was a video uh, actually my uh how to play high notes on the trumpet uh video you know <laughs> i did a little funny intro to that and it was just kind of an idea one day i think i might have uh I was remembering people like Alan Vizzuti doing weird half valve stuff as if that you're talking through the trumpet or Maynard and Gospel John. And I was just kind of half valving stuff like.
right? Like you're talking, saying, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. You know, you can do the eyebrows with it and everything, make it a fun time. <clears throat> so work with your, um, you know, that I'm so trailing off here, but hopefully this is fun anyway. Uh, you know, so y you can do that and make it sound like you're talking. Work on your half valve and experiment with all those sounds because you can really use a lot of things, you know. And this is really what music is. It's not the notes. It's not the written notes here. <clears throat> it's the stuff between the notes, right? It's it's the inflections. It's how you played the note. Uh, and like Miles always said, you know, uh, it's it's uh, the notes that he doesn't play. It's that too. But right now, I'm emphasizing that you can do some really cool things with notes on trumpet. That a piano, ugh, piano can hardly do anything. Can a piano do any sort of, unless you take the lid off, you know? Uh, a trombone can do some cool stuff, clarinet can smear a little bit, but like, the trumpets really got some cool things, because we have the overtone series for trilling, and we have half valving. Come on, we got a lot of cool stuff. Use it, you know, learn it. <clears throat> so there's that. Um, yeah, there's a couple licks for you uh, that you can use. But yeah, that second lick was like this. You know, or you could, you could like this, you could go. You get the idea, you know. <clears throat> so you can do it in different, uh, you know, with different variations of tongue slur, tongue slur, or when you're pushing it down. You can, you can do it with different patterns and whatnot. It just depends how you want to do it, right? <clears throat> so... There's that. Um, yeah, oh, and, and the one thing I almost forgot to say is just that when I do that lick, I like to push it down right about to there, right? If you do it the whole way, it's just not quite as cool. So, you know, put it down, if not the whole way, but like half valve or in to the degree that you want to do it. <clears throat> Don't just do this, although it's okay. Like... It's just, ah, it's not as cool to me. I like that. Right? I love it like that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So, uh, oh, God, you know what? Even a third lick has come to my mind. A third lick has come to my mind that is actually pretty cool. If we're in G7, <clears throat> right? You want something that, uh, you know, sounds cool in G7. Uh, I was just trying to think of other things that I do in G7. Here's one, uh, you know. This will be the last one here. We'll just, we'll stop here. <clears throat> uh, that's fast, and all these ones are fast. I'm giving you three fast G7 licks. Heck, maybe that's what I'll call the video. Um, like this. You want to, you want to <clears throat> just F, F sharp, G, B, B natural, C, ba, ba, da, da, ba, da, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, da, ba, da, 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 right? And you'll just have to sort of feel when to nudge your airstream up to that B flat so that you don't land back on the, um, <clears throat> on the F, you know. But yeah, it's just... Thank <laughs> you.